Coffee time here at Cafe. Cafe Foch. Cafe Foch. And uh, my dad's going to walk us through how he makes the cold brew, or I guess it's mostly an Americano. Dude, I think. If you've, seen, if you've seen the movie Elf, uh, the part where it says best cup of coffee ever. For a package of sunshine and ravioli. You did it! Congratulations! World's best cup of coffee. Hi. Yeah, that's a lie. Because the best cup of effing coffee's right here. Can't make much. Okay, maybe that's a little bullshit, but you know. But we got this down. Commercial grade, two station. Okay, so there we're tamping down the grounds. Pushing them down. Then you always gotta purge the line. What does that mean? That just means run a little water through the area where the coffee is going to be extracted through. Then we grab Connor's cup and this is two shots. So that's the two shot button right there. You see total extraction time to be somewhere between 20 to low 30 seconds. See the seconds counting up? That's a double shot, so that's good, that's good. 29 seconds. Now, Connor being the demanding drinker he is, he wants another shot. Okay, so that's all the espresso. So we'll go to the fancy ice machine. We fill that up the rest of the way. And then if counter's bouncing off the walls in about an hour, then we know we got a little too much espresso in there. <laughs> Thanks, Ed. <laughs> would you ever need a dishwasher? It's very good. Connor, would you help? Oh yeah, I can help. Colleen, I'll know the dishwasher. <laughs> well, now we're gonna get a lot fancier with mom's uh, latte. This is a, uh, what is this? Vanilla, non-fat, two-shot vanilla latte, which is way too long to say, so we call it the Pooh Bear Special. Mama Fudge, that's Pooh Bear. Don't poke the bear. First, we put in a little bit of vanilla. Put that back in the fridge. By the way, this is where we have the liquid death peach version for those positive-oriented people. In goes the cup. And then we're also going to steam some milk. And we set that down. They say you want it to look just like paint. You pour that right in. And there you go. There's your Pooh Bear special. Okay, Pooh, we got you. Am okay, I, give am it a I sip. being filled? Give yes. it a sip. It's Let the em. best cup of coffee. We didn't have it. Are you okay? Perfect. You didn't forget the vanilla or anything? No. Okay, good. <laughs> That's good. Very good. You want to work out, Charles? Nope. We're working out with Colleen. Where is she? Time for a proper CrossFit warm up. Basketball. I'm about one for 15 right now. <laughs> This is more of a warm up than I do 90% of the time, so I'm happy with it. Ooh. The workout involves bike, rowing, step ups. So, because we only have one bike and one rower, one of us is going to start on one of the pieces and the other one will start on the other. But so, we're actually testing out a um, little plug. <laughs> I have a <laughs> program that I program for um, and I follow. So, we're testing out actually next Saturday's workout for the program. So, it's going to be 10, 20, 30, 20, 10 row cals. After each set, you're going to do 100 meter farmer carry and then we'll rest three to four minutes and then it's going to be 10, 15, 20, 15, 10 bike cals. After each set, you're going to do 10 dumbbell box step overs. Okay, so down to the end of the driveway and then back? Yeah. Okay. You know what, I'm just gonna do step overs. Oh, 
uh, first bid done. That was tough. Calling's finishing up, and then we'll switch. That was a good piece. Very sweaty. My forearms were about to explode on those farmer's carries, shuffling my feet as fast as they would shuffle. So, and then the rower and the bike, that's just what got the heart rate up, made it sweaty. Uh, Colleen made an audible right before I went on the bike piece to do th uh, 10, 20, 30, 20, 10. Uh, basically the same thing we did with the rower. Instead of doing 10, 15, 20, I think that was the right call. Uh, yeah, that was a good, that was a good workout. Even though Colleen and I weren't doing the exact same piece, it's always just nice to work out with somebody, just doing something. Like, I don't know what it is about the human mind that just likes like partnership and just like camaraderie, but definitely oh, is strong. Convince him that you were working out hard? Yeah, exactly. That's water. That's not sweat. <laughs> yeah. It's one of my favorite parts about this uh, vlog. Obviously, I love that anyone and everyone watches this, but I know that my parents, my folks watch every vlog I make, and that just, those moments like that just mean a lot to me. All right, let's get, uh, let's get Colleen's post game. I don't think I'm gonna change anything for the perform peeps. I liked it, I liked how it played out. The farmer carries were a little more annoying than I expected them to yes. be. Like at first I was just like casually walking cause I was like, oh, I can keep my heart rate down. And then like Connor said, my forearm started to blow up cause you're also rowing, so you're gripping there too. So I was like, okay, quick feet, quick feet. <laughs> Mashed potatoes. Oh. LJ, LJ, you show them. Can you say hi? Right here. Oh, you have some big girl teeth? So Colleen right now is talking to Lauren or She's talking to LJ, my niece, Lauren and DJ are in Wisconsin with Lauren's family. LJ's cute as a button. Before Christmas or right after Christmas, uh, LJ, DJ, and Lauren will all be here. So the whole gang will be together. Kelly will be here as well. So it'll be a full house. Oh, look at how cute you are. It's funny hearing uh, Uncle Connor. Lauren was talking to LJ saying, it's Auntie Colleen and Uncle Connor. That's, uh, that's fun. I love that. Just like the ones I used to know. Christmas tree is up. The Foch family has moved on from Thanksgiving to Christmas. Caitlin, post game on watching that. It was entertaining because dad thought he lit up the whole tree and it was only the butt <laughs> Just like that, we are back in Dallas. Airports, both Arizona and Dallas, both empty. Uh, it's Saturday today. 
Sunday is definitely gonna be packed. I'm happy I came back today, but we'll be back in Arizona in about three weeks. So I'll see them all soon.